Many expats move overseas to get themselves out of their comfort zone, but many ironically end up back in the comfort zone. I'm going to explain more on this video and also fill you in on what I think people can do about it. Now, in all my time living overseas, I've noticed a certain trend, and that's that in smaller expat markets, you could include places like Laos, Cambodia, or beyond, expats tend to end up in very small groups. In other words, people go to the same events, it could be the American Chamber of Commerce, the British Chamber of Commerce, it could be the Rotary Club, it could be any kind of event. And the same faces are there time and time again, year after year, and so on. And this often means that expats then ironically struggle to move because you would think rationally if an expat has left their home country, moving on to the second, third, fourth, fifth country would become easier. That can be the case for expats who have gone to a big city like a Dubai or maybe Hong Kong, Singapore. But for expats who are in a new comfort zone like a small city or a, or a small expat uh, community, even in a a place like a capital city like Phnom Penh in Cambodia or Vientiane in Laos or whatever. So what happens is they end up in their own bubble and this causes a number of problems. I mean, number one, it makes it harder for people to move. Number two, also you often, uh, as the expression goes, the sum total of the five people you associate yourself with. So the problem is if you're in a small bubble, unless the people inside your bubble are very productive, you end up getting into bad habits as well. So it's funny because I briefly lived in Southeast Asia for about a year. And even though it's now six or seven years on, I still see on Facebook and beyond the same events with the same faces. They just look a bit older. And I think it's really destructive uh, to people's way of thinking in certain specific uh, ways, not in all ways. I mean, I'll give you an example of this. When I lived very briefly uh, in Cambodia, Cambodia is what I would call a bottoms up market. What I mean by that is in most industries, people still get to know about business services via, for example, introductions. They'll ask their friend, oh, do you know a doctor in town? Or, oh, do you know, uh, I don't know, a, a, an IT security guy in town? People ask around for services. You might say there's nothing wrong with that. Indeed, there is nothing wrong with that per se. But what often happens is, ironically, is amongst the expat community, they start to get a bit insular and just think in terms of uh, their, uh, their city or, or, or their town or whatever. And they think it's all about going to chamber events, it's all about doing what everyone else is doing. And it's harder for people to see the broader picture. So for example, I was talking to one of my friends who still lives in uh, Southeast Asia, and he was making the point that, oh, um, Adam, I should have done what you did and focus globally. Uh, but actually I'm in a situation where, and I've only realized it now, I'm thinking locally. But I think one of the reasons for that is when you spend a lot of your time going to the same events, speaking to the same people, listening to the same speeches about, oh, how everything is going great and economic growth is 8% per annum this year, you start to think very locally that, oh, all the options are local, all the great opportunities are local. When in reality, we're in a global economy now and actually, the options are always international. Even if you live in a place like San Francisco, uh, New York, London, the options locally is always a small percentage of the overall you know, global GDP. And with the market we're in now, the kind of uh, you know, world economy we're in, you don't need to meet people obviously face to face. I mean, uh, every provider that I deal with, whether it's a recruiter, a lawyer, whoever it is, I never meet them face to face. And I haven't done that for years, even before coronavirus. So. The interesting thing though I've noticed though, is people who live in the bigger places, the Dubai's, the, the London's, the New York's, they've been doing things remotely now for years and years and years. Whereas people in smaller cities, uh, especially in small niches like the expat market in small cities, are much more conservative about changing. And I think that's because as soon as you're in a small uh, community, you hear less voices, you hear less alternative opinions. Whereas if you're living in a place like a London or a Dubai, you can speak to hundreds, thousands of people a week remotely or in person, different perspectives, different events. But I think in smaller markets, you can very much get into what I would call the bubble.